It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And we are in Thousand Oaks doing a seasonal maintenance on an installation that we put in a couple of years ago, a little over two years. And you know how I'm always ranting about trees and how much I don't like them in succulent gardens? This is why I've got, you know, all these freaking sycamore leaves all in my plants. Ugh, just no. Um, but anyway, I digress. I don't like this. I don't like the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, it is winter, so I can successfully work with aeoniums now as cuttings. So I'm gonna take this aeonium silk. I'm gonna cut off all of the wonderful rosettes. Here's a little, looks like, who knows, different variety there. Um, these are all gonna get cut up. Okay, now this, this little cotyledon just does not look good. It's very rangy, leggy, desiccated. Um, sometimes, you know, you don't win. You, you, you know, they, they can't all be winners and this plant has not thrived here. So I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna remove the aeonium stem as well. Then, this seemed like a good idea at the time, this um, little dazzle, or, um, Hesper aloe next to this Crassula argentea, but now that it's had a couple years, it doesn't look good. It's, it's crowded, so I'm going to take this Dazzlerian, or I'm sorry, Hesper aloe, and I'm going to put it in the hole right where that stand of Aeonium and cotyledon was. And look at all of these leaves. Look at that. Ugh. And, you know, in pulling this plant out, I can see it. Look at that. It's gotten way too wet. We're going to have to make some adjustments to the irrigation here. And maybe you can see the ants crawling all over it. Where you see ants, typically you see scale, mealy bugs, some other pest. So I'm gonna take a minute to clean up this plant. I'm gonna treat it and then reset the healthy pieces back in the ground. When we did this installation a couple of years ago, we brought in a lot of topsoil, um, probably 20 or 25 yards to build this area up. Then after we installed the plants, we top dressed with another couple inches of lava rock, which is, you know, very porous. Um, so the concern is the rains that are coming. Uh, we anticipate four days of rain next week, which here in California, this in Southern California is pretty unprecedented. Uh, so one of my volunteers on this installation was asking me, um, if it's wise to manipulate the plants right now with all this rain coming. And in a perfect world, probably not. But I'm confident since we have elevated the soil so high uh, and we have all this rock, it does drain well, there's no pooling. This soil is, you know, it's damp, but it's not wet. So another thing too is I'm not going to be removing the roots of this Hesper aloe. I've dug a hole and I'm just going to pop it right in there and then I'm going to backfill very gently with a combination of soil and the rock and I think very confident that we're going to be okay and remember what I always say if your succulent stands up you have done your job so now Effectively, what I've done is improve the look of two areas. I've got a baby Hesper aloe 
to plant somewhere else. And I have all these aeoniums that I can also work into another area of the garden. Okay. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Thousand Oaks, California with your succulent tip of the day.